In this session, we're going to use the Olga kit as seen here and Heavy M to create a digital and projection insulation. So I'm just going to get the Olga kit out so you can see exactly what's going off here. So as you'll notice, it's a series of geometric triangle shapes. And if I just open some of these up, they're so slightly different. So that one is a hexagon. And let's just have a look at this one. Oh, that's also a hexagon. Let's grab another one. Okay, here we go. So that's just a straight triangle, as you can see. And here we go. So here's a time lapse of me building the old kit so you can see what it looks like. And it's a really interesting piece of kit, this. So it attaches by these little plastic clips, and you can create your own interesting geometric shapes. So I've used these a lot during gallery installations or for um, one-off art pieces for an audience, etc., etc. So as you can see, I'm just clipping them together and I'm not actually paying too much attention, if I'm honest, to what I'm creating. And if these are the little clips that you use to uh, connect them together. Okay, so that is um, a geometric shape. There you go. So that looks interesting enough, I think, for us to map to. So let's open Heavy M, let's jump in and let's start the mapping process. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is and I, I've connected my projector and I need to select my projector. So I select number one there and click OK. Now what's going to happen is my computer is going to read that as a second display. So I can now map in real time using heavy M. Okay, so I'm just going to create some triangles. So these are going to directly correlate to um, the insulation using the Olga kit that I've put on my wall. Okay, so let's just change the shape of this. And all I'm doing is copy and pasting just to make sure I get everything aligned up with my installation. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to speed this up because you know how to create shapes and you know how to pull the anchor points around to create your patterns. So let's speed this up and then we'll uh, jump back in once we have our Olga kit mapped. Excellent, and that's our um, Olga kit all mapped out in Heavy M. So all I'm doing is I'm adding media now and I'm creating scenes ready so we can program this so it will just play on a loop. So I'll just speed this up again and we'll jump back in once we have a finished product. See you in a minute, guys. Excellent, that looks like everything's mapped. And I'm not going to go into too much detail with this because you know how to do this. What I wanted to achieve from today's session is so you can um, have the confidence to start using other materials. And again, you don't need to have the um, Olga kit to do this. You can do this on any kind of geometric shape. You can even do this on a car or a house if you want to. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a look at how this has turned out. And this, guys, is just using the stock heavy M media. So I haven't siphoned anything in. I haven't made any new media for this. I've literally just combined different combinations within the heavy M software. I think you'll agree. This looks really cool. And now you know how simple this is to achieve. I really hope you've enjoyed this course please do leave me some feedback please do connect with me and show me the kind of things that you're making whether you have the Olga kit or not um, I'd love to keep connecting and keep chatting and, and see where where you're at all right then guys take care and I hopefully will speak soon